This is a 1967 FL. It's pretty clean. Somebody has assembled this bike out of various pieces and years, which I'll explain. So it seems to run fairly well, although the rear head has a bone head gasket and it. My assumption at this point is that the front head has a bone head gasket as well. It's starting to smoke a little bit. It could just be bone head gaskets. So you gotta pull the heads off, see what you got, and uh, act accordingly. So it might be a whole top end, it might just be head gaskets. But it's pretty clean. It's got disc brakes on it. Nice clean wheels and brakes and PM brakes. So I got the square swing arm on it. Or uh, square swing arm, idiot. A uh, round swing arm, let's correct myself here. Uh, <clears throat> it's got some bags on it as you can see we got keys it's currently registered in California February 2015 got a good title Mustang seat this just folds forward like so cycle uh, electric generator good motor mounts I spent a lot of money on these wheels and the PM brakes. I put a lot of money in this bike. So my assumption is when you see the speed over the dash and everything new that it was all done at 12,000 miles ago. Well, stainless rotors, I mean, they spent, uh, not PM brakes, they're JB brakes, but they're still stupid ass expensive. A Mellor ignition. SNS carb. I mean, they dumped a ton of money in this thing. So, anyhow, um, that's the good stuff. The bad part of it is it does not have a generator swing arm frame. Has a couple little issues, you know, typical old bike stuff. Those are the Dash 73 number here. So, you got a number boss. Now, most guys don't realize, but 73 to 75, you can get this frame. With this number boss here, blank. Just as many as you want from Harley, they'd sell it to you. So I don't think I shut down. Couldn't do that no more. So, same with motor cases, everything. Didn't have to turn the frame in, didn't have to turn motor cases in or nothing. Because we're stealing two bikes and the government came down and said you can't do that no more. Well, we got very good motor numbers. So, early heads, back heads. You see the oil there in the front cylinder along that? We definitely got a blown rear gasket, so I think it's just head gaskets. But uh, I'll just bet that somebody cracked a frame and they got a, a Harley frame because this looks pretty clean here. Not all, well, they didn't grind it off and try to fake numbers out, so it's probably just an unnumbered early Harley frame. That's what I think it is. But until somebody gets in there and finds out what you got, so we definitely got a blown rear head gasket there. So that, that's that, but of course, you know, not having a correct frame hurts it. Some people, other people don't care. But it's pretty clean overall, you know. So, still a nice little bike, it is what it is. We're gonna fire it up, you're gonna see the blue smoke. So it could be a top end, could be bonehead gaskets, don't know. Don't care, that's all you do. But it does run, goes up and down the street. At least I think it does have it yet. We're gonna ride it.
runs really good, needs a tune up really bad. And that popping and crapping you hear is called a manifold leak. And that's why it's got blown head gaskets. And I didn't see too much smoking. And it was smoking pretty good when I first fired it up when I bought it. So I'm pretty sure it's just blown head gaskets, but you never know until you pull it off and go, wow, look at that. So whoever gets it, I would suggest yanking the top end off and just checking it. That way you know. It's not that difficult to get rings to reseat. Really, really isn't. So that way you know, it's all fresh gaskets. It's there, it's done, it's blown. You know where your, your valves are, you know where your guides are. And uh, boom, but it's probably just a set of blown head gaskets. So it's got lots of power, but it's popping and crapping and sputtering. And the tune-up's off, manifold leaks horrible. I can visually see it's got blown head gaskets. So anyhow, there it is, 67FL. And uh, it's live as I got it, as it is. This is how this stuff is. Nobody knows how to work on it, this stuff anymore. Uh, it's pathetic. The shops, they want twin cam, pop and play Lego sets. They, they don't want to actually wrench on a bike. So the clutch is a little bit out, but it's not that bad. It wasn't slipping. It's just, you got to figure out where it's, it's catching and, and go. But it's, it's not, you know, it needs a little ma bit of maintenance. That's all. But it's a good bike. So we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.